guys. Well, we're trying something new because we're already doing all this videoing and we've been doing online worship and since we're in this strange time of social distancing, I have to actually give credit to Cambria. This was her idea. She said, hey, Dad, why don't you do a video series on some of the churchy words that maybe people aren't familiar with or, or some of the things around the church that have meaning or significance but maybe people don't fully understand. So this week we're going to start with a word that you maybe have heard me say before, paraments. Paraments. Now, this is not the parent of mints, no paraments. It's also not a parachute, um, although the meaning might be closer than you think. Paraments are things like this. They are the pieces of cloth in the, in the church terminology. They're the pieces of cloth that, that, that we use to cover our, our altar and our holy space. In addition to this being a paramount, these are paraments. Everything from the bookmarker that lays across our altar Bible to the cloth that covers our altar. This is really the most true form of what the word paraments is all about. It's about the color adorning and covering and keeping safe our altar table. So these are paraments. These are paraments too. See, here's some of the white ones and, and the red ones and the green ones, and you'll notice most of them have colors on the other side. That's just so we don't have to have a separate set. But this one's got purple on the back, and these are white and red. Paraments, actually, the, the word paramount comes from the Latin language, and it means to adorn or prepare. It's basically a way of saying some way we've made fancy um, or to equip. So they are the hangings or ornaments in a room of state. So our altar, our, our worship space is considered a room of state. And so the paraments are anything that we use to make that pretty or fancy or adorn it in some way. Um, it can also mean something else too. So one of the ways we use the word paraments is for ecclesiastical adorning pieces. In other words, parts of the outfits that pastors or priests might wear when they are presiding over a service. Some of you guys may recognize these. These are uh, called my cinctures. That's another fancy churchy word. But these are called cinctures. And essentially, these are the ropes that I use to tie around my waist, around my, my robe. Or actually, my robe is actually called an alb because it's a servant's garment. Um, so these cinctures, you'll notice that as we go through the liturgical year, right now we're in common time and I'll wear green and some Sundays I wear white and sometimes I wear purple. And that's just to help remind us of the season we are in liturgically. So what is liturgical season? Well, liturgical season is really just a fancy way of saying, where are we in the calendar? So our Bibles, we follow a liturgical calendar every week, and that means that over the course of a three-year time, we read and study through the entirety of Scripture. And so following the liturgy or following the liturgical calendar, we can set ourselves up to be in line with the seasons that the Church Universal celebrates so that we, with all Christians throughout the world, are studying and learning and, and, and worshiping in similar ways. So what that means is during two seasons, you'll see purple, that's Advent and Lent. On Christmas and Easter, we use white. Sometimes we'll also use white for first Sunday when we do communion or special Sundays like a baptism or something like that. Um, but traditionally, it's just for Christmas and Easter. And then on Pentecost, which is just one Sunday a year, uh, we actually use the red parents. And we just had that just a few weeks ago. And then the rest of the time of the year is called ordinary time or common time. And so the paraments are green during ordinary time. And so that's the color you'll see up here most often, but we just came off of the season of Easter starting clear back in February. We haven't seen green since I think it was the 16th of February until this last week. So it's been a long time through the Easter season where we had white for, for many, many weeks, we had red for a week, and now we're back into common time. So, the word of the day, paraments, is all about how do we fancy up and, and how do we choose colors and how do, we, how do we show reverence towards our altar space. 
And so if you ever hear me talking about pyramids, now you'll know what pyramids means. See you guys later. Bye.